Hey everybody, assalamu alaikum, it's your brother Abdurrahman Murphy here joining you from Qalam Institute. You know, a lot of people ask me this question, Brother Murphy, how do I get married? Or people will come to me and say, Brother Murphy, I'm ready to get married, can I please, you know, can you please hook it up? Can you please try to find somebody? Or, I've already found somebody, can you convince our parents? And I always have to tell these people, categorically I have to say, slow down, let's talk for a second about what it means to get married. You see, I'm 26 years old, alhamdulillah, I got married when I was 20 years old. So having six and a half years now of experience, it might not seem like a lot, and for sure compared to some people, it's not a lot. People have been married for 20, 30 years. But having grown up in this country, in America, and having gotten married at a young age, I understand now the benefits and sometimes the obstacles and struggles that people go through. And so this series, inshallah, is designed to answer some of those questions. So going back to the question of I'm ready to get married or how do I know if I'm ready to get married, there are a couple things that I would love for you to think about in this journey, in this quest, because marriage is something that is amazing, is fun, is awesome, but it does take some serious reflection. The first thing I want you to think about is yourself, number one. Who am I as a person? What kind of things do I like? What kind of things do I dislike? And can you describe your personality in a few words? Do you get angry very quickly? Do you have a quick temper? Are you someone who's very patient with things? Are you somebody who doesn't like change? Do you get anxious around uncertain situations? Think to yourself and take a pen and paper and do a self-evaluation. Evaluation. Do an inventory of yourself. What kind of person am I? The reason why this is important is because a marriage is a combination of two people. And so you need to think to yourself, who am I? Because that's going to help you in your discussions, inshallah, and in your search for that person that you want to marry. So after you do those things, you'll be able to understand better who I am. A good way to do this, by the way, is talk to your parents, talk to your friends, talk to your close loved ones, talk to your teachers, and ask them to describe you. And they'll be able to give you some of those things that you might not be able to fully grasp because a third person or a different perspective might be able to see more. The second thing that I want you to think about is that the Prophet Muhammad said in a hadith, and everyone loves quoting this hadith when they're trying to get married. The Prophet Muhammad said, Man minkum al He said that for any of you who are ready or able to get married, then they should get married. And this is true. The Prophet Muhammad encouraged people to get married. There's no reason why people should. Uh, abstain or withhold if they're able to. But what does it mean to be able to? You see a lot of young people take this hadith and they try to run with it and convince everybody that yes, we need to get married, we need to get married. But notice that the Prophet Muhammad put a qualifier. He said, Man minkum, Whoever is ready amongst you. What does it mean to be ready? There's probably a lot of things that the Prophet Muhammad could have advised us. Here's a couple that I want to offer to you for advice. Number one, are you emotionally ready? Are you emotionally in a place that is able to, you know, sustain and benefit and grow another person in a relationship? Or are you somebody that emotionally you're not quite sure if you're okay right now? Are you someone who gets into arguments and fights with your family members a lot? Perhaps you just got out of another relationship, an engagement that broke off, or even you got divorced from another marriage, and you're not really in a good place right now. Um, maybe you're in a maybe you're in a, a spout in your life or in a rut where emotionally you know everything sort of frustrates you, um, and and so that's not a good environment to bring another person into. And so really being prepared or being ready is all about checking yourself in a couple different ways. And one of those ways is emotionally. The second way is mentally, right? Mentally and physically. We're gonna put this together. So physically, mentally. Physically, like, are you physically able to get married right now? Are you somebody who physically has reached the age of maturity? Are you somebody who is generally, and most people have by, this, by the time they're watching this video, but are you somebody who physically is able to sustain another person? Um, this could have a lot to do with also illness, right? And that doesn't mean that I'm saying yes or no, but these are things to think about, okay? Mentally, are you somebody who can fathom or grasp the idea that you're not all going to be about yourself, that there's going to be somebody else in your relationship that you have to care for and you have to put ahead of yourself and sacrifice and compromise for yourself. So these are some things to think about. The third thing, and this is oftentimes the most sticky, is financial. And again, this answer is not saying yes or no. It's just giving you some things to think about. Financially, are you in a place where you can support and take care of somebody else? Now, some of you may have scenarios or parents or uncles or whatever where they may allow you and they may say, you know what, go ahead and get married. We'll support you until you are completed with your studies or you've got a position or you got a job, but we don't want to withhold you from getting married. Some of your parents might say, no, it's your responsibility. What I'm saying to you is that both situations are acceptable. You just have to talk to your family and see what's going on. 
And a lot of people are like, you know what, finances don't matter, this doesn't matter. I'll tell you something, most divorces in this country, in America where we are, and probably around the world, to be honest with you, are related to lack of financial sustainability and lack of financial stability in general. It's just chaotic financially. So although marriage, a marriage is not made up of finances and money, it definitely impacts it and, thinks, and, and it definitely hits it. So you have to think about these things. You have to think about who am I and you have to think about what does it mean to be ready to get married. Once you've thought about these things, then we can move on to the next video, inshallah, about how to find that perfect spouse. Jazakumullah khairan wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.